Okay, let's take a look at what it looks like to terminate a Cat5 cable onto a Cat5 jack. Now this is just one of several different types of modular Cat5 jacks you're going to find. Some are bigger, some are smaller. This is actually a little bit on the bigger side. And the interesting thing is, is that on the one hand, you want smaller because you can get more stuff into a smaller amount of space. But at the same time, the smaller the jacks get, the tougher, or I should say more time consuming, it is to terminate them. So what I've done already is I took and I, I stripped off um, about uh, an inch and a quarter of the jacket and uh, I'm taking and fanning them out. And the way you can do this pretty easy is that the uh, the jacks already have, or most jacks already have a color code stenciled on them. And they will usually have two color codes stamped on them. One is called uh, TIA-568A and one is called TIA-568B or just T-568A and B for short. And the, there are two different uh, wiring methods, and what matters most is that you keep them the same. I don't know that one is necessarily any better than the other, although the B style is more traditional. So you can see here we've got blue, green, orange, and brown. That's for the A, and then underneath it we've got blue, orange, green, and brown um, for the B style. I'm using B style in this. So I'm fanning my pairs out onto the uh, jack before I punch it down. So, and this is kind of an acquired skill because the uh, the wires are already twisted up and you, you need to kind of get them untwisted to go on top of the uh, punch downs, but you only want to untwist them the minimal amount that is required to get them onto the punch positions because you don't want to have a large gap of jacket to bear you know, stripped back jacket between where it ends and where the uh, punch down blocks or punch down uh, terminals actually uh, begin. So you want the shortest amount of distance between where the jacket ends and where you actually punch them down there. Got them all fanned out. Usually I'll do one more last visual check to make sure I've got tip ring, tip ring, tip ring, tip ring. And then I will punch down. Notice I'm double punching. I don't know that that's necessary, but it's just a habit I've formed from years of, of doing this. Also, in a perfect world, when you punch down, the, the end of the wire should fall off, but a lot of times that does not happen. So what I do is, because they're already kind of perforated, is I just kind of little give them a little twist and they fall off. So, and that's what it looks like when it's all punched down and ready to be put inside the jack.